Top 10. Kashtira. Even with a lot of consistency hits, this deck can still accomplish its main purpose by summoning Rise Hard turn 1. Or just throwing Shifter at you, so be mindful of that. Even if they did not do their full combo they can still end on Unicorn or Fenrir. Which can be pretty good against some matchups. Top 9. Vanadium. As you can see this is a 60 card Vanadium list. With the amount of engine needed to play this strategy the room for non-engine feels very tight. So I thought I could upgrade it to a 60 card list. And play more hand traps to fight Snake Eyes better. We will see it much more later in the video. As you can see I'm playing a Diabell Star engine. This is to make your opponent spend some interruptions he has incorrectly. And for giving more extension and draws from Magician Soul's engine. Top 8. Stun. I don't think there is much to explain on this one. Just slow down the pace of the game until your opponent can't do anything. Personally I'm not a fan of this type of deck. So, I don't really play it but if you want to try it here is the exact list I would probably play. Just a side note the barrier statue can be replaced. By another one of a different attribute. It just depends on the meta game you're playing on. Top 7. Branded. Loved by some hated by others. With the amount of consistency hits this deck has been getting. You would think it would die over time but this strategy has been proving itself. That it can still compete in the bigger leagues and is not going anywhere. Most of the time it. Just takes a single branded fusion to snowball your way to victory. However when you. Don't have access to branded fusion this deck may not do that much. So be aware of that. Top 6. Super Heavy Samurai. Still a very powerful deck that can run a huge amount of hand traps for various matchups. Its engine is very compact by having multiple cards that can make full combo by themselves. And being very ignorant against some of the more used hand traps in the format like Ash and Nibiru. Top 5. Mathmic. Until Konami decides to hit circular on the ban list. This deck will continue to be around due to also having a huge number of non-engine slots. And a one card combo that gives different types of disruption, and having a very reliable outline is very comfortable. To finish games quickly, and climb ranks and ladder and challenger cups. Top 4. Vanquish Soul. One of my personal favorites. This deck can play around all the popular hand traps in the format by its engine alone. And its end board can be very simple but very powerful. However, if you don't have access to Raisin, this strategy suffers a lot since you can't continue to add more names to keep the flow. Top 3. Labyrinth. Labyrinth is my favorite deck to play in Master Duel right now. The various combinations you can make with your furnitures. And Rollbacks makes this deck very fun to play. However, a well-timed Ash can stop you especially if you don't already have Rollback in your graveyard. Can also play some Floodgates with this deck but you don't want to be cringe do you? Top 2. Kashtira Snake Eyes. It plays the same as pure Snake Eyes. But with an extra Kashtira package that can give you free bodies. Or bait some of your opponent's disruptions. It still has a decent number of non-engine slots and can defeat your opponent more comfortably. Because of your monster's high attack points. Top 1. Pure Snake Eyes. Objectively the best deck in the game right now. Half of the deck is basically non-engine, and can one turn kill very easily. Jet Synchron giving access to Baron and Savage. Is huge improvement to the inboard, probably will still be the best deck unless Konami hits the deck on future ban lists.